Hello and welcome to this tutorial on Google Calendar. Um, we're going to start and review some of the basics to Google Calendar. First of all, to access my Google Calendar, um, I can just click in my waffle up here and I can go to Calendar or I can just go to calendar.google.com. Again, that is calendar.google.com to access my calendar. Um, and so, um, once my calendar uh, pops up, of course, um, this is our calendar. And so, just a, a few things I want to point out. Over here, we have the create button um, that we can click on, and we can go ahead and create an event um, along with some other options. I can also actually just create an event by clicking on the calendar on the time that I want. Um, up here we have our uh, views and so you can see here are a few options we can view by day by week by month by year uh, schedule view um, which shows you your schedule and of course uh, there's a four day you can show declined events and weekends um, and so here's our day view and again just to toggle back and forth we can um, switch right there uh, we also have our mini calendar over here um, we have two calendars we have our calendars which is labeled my calendars which you can uh, hide and unhide with this drop down arrow here we have other calendars um, that we may have subscribed to. One thing I notice is a lot of these other calendars are green. So for example, if I want to change the holidays in the United States, maybe to, uh, you know, red, since it's red, white, and blue, I can go ahead and uh, click on the three dots. Maybe you saw me do that and change the color. Um, also, if I want to go ahead and hide and unhide calendars, I can just simply click on this box over here and that'll temporarily hide and unhide the calendar. If I want to remove a calendar, I can go ahead and um, click on this X over here. Again, these are other calendars, these are my calendars. Um, again, with this three dots, these options right here that show up when I hover, I can do a few things um, by displaying only this. I can also look at the settings and the sharings of the calendar, who my calendar is shared with and what the particular settings to um, the calendar are. Um, we also have over here this plus sign. And on this plus sign, I can do a few options. I can subscribe to a calendar. That could be somebody else's calendar at work that I work with. I could create a new calendar. Uh, for example, if it's a particular project or a particular division that I'm working with, I could create a new calendar. Um, I can browse calendars of interest. Um, that would include some sports teams, etc. I can add a calendar, if a uh, specific calendar from a URL, from a link. And I can also import a calendar. Um, Again, if I want to create an event, I can just kind of simply click on if I want to create it on a particular time. For example, Monday, June, um, Monday, June seventeenth at eleven. If I have an event there, I can click and I could, um, for example, maybe I'm getting a haircut on that day. I have a few options I can change right here. Um, some of these options, uh, the times, for example, um, I can add guests if I wanted to. Like if I want to share perhaps uh, with somebody else. You can see um, right here I'm the organizer and I can check uh, guest availability although I need to have access to their calendar. Um, I can add a location right here. Um, maybe it's Supercuts, uh, North Davis. Never been there. That's nice because it'll pop up um, in, uh, in Google Maps. Um, if I want a few more options, I can click on the more options button and you can see over here I just get a little bit uh, more options. Um, for example, um, adding a larger description, um, I can uh, and control some of my guests, I can uh, save it right here and that's going to go ahead and send the invite. So I'm going to go ahead and send it um, and that's a notification pop up another notification pop up and if I want notifications to show I can just click this allow um, if I want to go ahead and uh, control this I can do ask me later or dismiss and for now let's just go ahead and do ask me later you can see here's my event right here um, if I want to change my event to a different day I can simply just drag it to that day and time and drop it there it's gonna ask me if I want to send an update to our existing guests and so I'm gonna go ahead and hit send and again here it's right here I can always undo it right here um, I can click on the different days you can see up here by clicking on the numbers and again I can change my view here hopefully that helps you um, with the, some of the basics of calendar um, 
and um, let's keep on learning. Remember, if you ever have any issues that uh, with any Google tools, you can always go ahead and click here on support and you can go to help and you can look for our particular um, help. So if you want to share your calendar with somebody or you can type in add, add a calendar. Um, add a calendar to your website, add someone else's calendar, and that's very helpful. Um, so hopefully this helps you with Google Calendars. Again, this is a, a review of what you may have already learned. Thanks for watching and have a great day.